Uh, welcome to this RTSL game against Simowit and Striker Shackleton. Um, commentating today, the normal crew's not around, as of course Simowit's playing, so it'll be myself, Max, and Anton in the recording booth. That's me. So, Did you uh, say welcome. Striker Shack? The, the, there's a running joke that uh, Shackleton is Striker and Striker is Shackleton. As you can tell, everyone, we don't have two hands, possibly because Shackleton has poor internet connection. Um, I also assume Stryker wasn't available for any games at 8 a.m. today, Pacific time. It, it, it's become a running meme in the Valley Struggle community, Anton. All right. With the poor internet connections, you mean? Or that Stryker and Shackleton are the same person, but the fact oh, okay, that there's okay. only one hand, likely because Shackleton does have poor internet connection. Right, right. <laughs> to itself. All right, so... Let's get going. Yep. Guinness versus Olympic Games. Uh, pretty weak headline by yeah, USSR. Yeah. I mean, Nasser's sitting in Zimowit's hand, so that's obviously not going to be, but we could assume no... Vietnam, no socialist govs, and a two-up coup. And no. In general, a good hand for Zim, but just no uh, good headlines. Other than captured, yeah, cases, of course, yeah. Which is not a bad headline for the for the U.S. at all, though. And fails the coup. The the only thing here is having to hold blockade to T two. It's yeah. not great without having seen purge and decal. Of course, but uh, besides that, it's not bad at all. So I I, I like the two um, Pakistan here holding IP war, bait him into that coup. I think that's not especially since he cooed with a two op. It feels like yeah. maybe he just wanted to lower Defcon here anyway. So what one thing I find is that even if it, people have a two op, they'll still coup Iran. In hopes that maybe like you'll get a four. There's always a one in six chance to clear them out, right? One in at, at two. Same... Yeah, one in two. You mean? Uh, one in six chance to just clear out, right? To have zero influence in there. Uh, am I okay. counting wrong here? No, one in one in two. One in six to get uh, two up. A four uh, or higher no. would give you. No, yeah, no, I'm saying, like, no matter what you coup with, there's always the chance that you'll roll the perfect... Oh, right, right, right. Just clearing yeah, yeah, them yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, Okay, I see what you're saying. Um, so, my, some, my opinion there is if you only have a two, cooing a rod's not necessarily the best. Um, placing influence might be better, but I, I guess it does depend on the hand. Seeing special defectors followed by Melly scoring for a quick Zemo at domination yeah. um, suggest more problems or more low op cards sitting in Shaq's hand. Yeah, and Zemo gladly just dropping his four ops into uh, yeah. spreading out. And now yeah. Z's thinking, is it time for mill ops? What 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 are you doing here? You're gonna walk into India to just clear Pakistan. Um, prevent Fidel. That's a question. Activate CIA. Not the end of the world. Yeah, no, I think Zimvit's so uh, comfortable right now that like there's it's even hard to misplay here. Um, it's like you said, just the blockade holding is the the slight discomfort here, but now I think Zimovit doesn't like self cooing with Nasser, but maybe that's what we'll see here. It almost feels like cooing with Comic Con is too big. Yeah, the problem is is Libya and you don't want to put two ops into Libya right oh, now. Oh, he's he's doing blockade in Comic Con. I, like I guess it. that's a super fa super safe play. I like it. Um, I think the only problem now is that 
probably have to get Milops with IP War and not leave it till AR6 with Nasser self coup. Yeah. At the same time, what is Shaq going to do even if you don't have Milops for the last turn, for the last action round? Not much on this board. No. It, like, but that it. does mean, okay, he's decal of things are going to happen now. Interesting. Ooh, what do you do now? Yeah. I think you have to cool out. Yeah. Yep. There it goes. I, I think Middle the Lao Ku makes sense. Like it's not worth it to try and take Thailand. You're probably gonna lose it no matter what. Agreed. Um, Agreed. But that just invites a coup back, and then you really have Melops problems. Uh, then you coup again with IP War and let Defcon go to five with Thailand at one. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. But if Lao empties out here, like you said, like one and six, um, then you could then either Thailand. I guess you coup Africa then. Yeah, this works as well. Look at Africa. Yeah, Africa here. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Wish you rolled a little bit more than a two, but the end of the world interesting and... that Shaq went Zaire there and not Nigeria as well because you could spread spread to Zaire um, I think the, the problem there was he didn't want to risk um, going one into Angola getting cooed out of Angola and giving up Angola and Zaire I yeah. guess his logic is that you have three battlegrounds there that you want access to as yeah. opposed to single between Angola or Nigeria. So Purge protects France here. Um, which is probably making Zemo pretty happy. You'll be able to hold D stealth through if you can get away without using the OBS. You're gonna get CA here. This is another weekend, yeah. especially purged. I think this could easily have the makings of a yeah. US steamroll. For sure. Especially if you, I don't know, do you play Truman here to clear him out of uh, of uh, France? To protect Algeria? I think you and you have like free reign in Africa as well. Yeah. Because if not, what is he going to be able to do? Warsaw into Algeria? Eh. That hand. All oh, right, he gets this only... coup as well. Oh, and he goes Panama instead. I don't know about that. I think that might have been Algeria for me, but who am I to say? Shackleton knows what he's doing, but I mean, he didn't have any other way to get Milops, so no. Maybe but I meant he, going he... Angola instead of uh, instead of Panama there. Oh. Um. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you, I think. But I also see the like the high roll on Panama with this yeah. board has such a higher like swing yeah. in the game, which you look at this board, you're thinking, I need something a little bit more swingy. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, definitely true. He rolled a two anyway, which means he wasn't going to get into Angola, so... He just grabs Algeria, Libya. Very, very well, comfortable I, for Zimovit here. Yeah, so you see that hand is Z, and I'm almost thinking, like, do you afford to take South Korea? Or, here we go. Just as you said it. <laughs> just as I say it. Shaq... Yeah. Which I think is a good move by Shaq. I think um, locking up the three battlegrounds in Asia with the VP track already getting out of control and you being dominated in the other two regions, you can't afford to be dominated in Asia. 100%. 100%. Um. But, I mean, that Africa sitting at 
Zaire at four, Angola at two, Algeria blue. That that that's hard to crack even for USSR in the mid war. Yeah. Smartly like grabs a second one. battleground there, because otherwise you might yeah. just get broken and action round six, and then you have a real problem. And even then, you're under purge. This one up to block a three VP domination. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, some like some people don't like putting more ops into Egypt. I'm very okay with a play like that, especially where else are you gonna put one op right now on this board? Yeah, and it's turn two. <laughs> Or protects North Korea from a break. Not a bad move. I always want to overprotect your Asian battlegrounds when you don't hold the China card. What do you do as uh, Zimbit here, though, with your Cambridge 5 and UN ops? I'm probably putting Panama to 2. That makes sense. I'm do you do a call to Nigeria or just stay like this? I don't even. I mean, you can crawl to Nigeria. Getting France to five to protect against socialist governments is not the worst idea. So I can't be flipped with a, with a four. Um, Maybe even grabbing a second non-battleground in Europe? You probably need to grab a few more countries in Asia so they can't headline Vietnam revolts and take domination. Oh, that's right. That's right. So I I could see like yeah, the yeah, France, France makes sense, but I could also see just like snagging Malaysia to get to four and maybe one Panama. Four is enough. That's... Well, otherwise a decal headline. It's a de we'll it would be a redraw. Nation. Yeah, yeah. You could live with it. I think. Um, I think plus like if you're gonna take Malaysia and Indonesia. And he wants to decal and break two Southeast Asian battlegrounds and take one with his three decal ops. By all means, right? Like you're up ten yeah, on the yeah. VP yeah, track. Yeah, it's yeah. not the you can afford it. Oh, look at this board. Yeah, okay. this is crazy. It went real fast um, too. It's the end of turn two, and it's very possible that this doesn't go past T four. Yeah, I mean, usually when it when it's like this, like when the when the VP track looks like this, the Soviets are waiting for a big Asia domination, but yeah. not even that's going to happen here. No. Oh, and he gets decall um, as well, and Vietnam. Better to have them in your hand. Be able to control it, I think. Um, yeah, East European unrest here is brutal as well. Yeah, fair, quite. So he, here's one thing that I'll say, and it comes from a game. I think it was a Team US game or Texas game. I don't remember which. I think it was Team US. Um, the blue putting one into Costa Rica versus Panama. So the odds of putting it into Costa Rica is better for being able to keep Panama because of the adjacency. So yep. to clear you out or put one in. But Stryker also brought up a very good point. Where do you want that op, though? It's much more valuable in Panama by having Panama. Yeah. And Now this I is think, interesting. Sorry. I think that's something I kind of take to heart, where use your ops where they need to be used and yeah. bump I, I like the idea of bumping Panama up to two I'm interested I wonder what other people think on that matter but Stryker saying it I think it's worth listening to yeah I I agree with that although I also see the point in access to Nicaragua um, if you feel like you have time um, looking at what's going on right now though Seem a bit purged. Problematic hand to get purged. Um, it's not that problematic, especially holding China. I mean, you'll space destall. You could space so socialist Sokka's, government. 
Yeah, but you'll have to play Korean uh, for points. You're going to lose Middle East here. Yeah, but I feel like you... Oh, no. He's, he's going to fight it. I guess... Holding our breath for the war here. <laughs> I guess Z's logic here is... Oh, he's going to tell us. <laughs> <laughs> From a tempo perspective, he has Asia. So it's not like he could be annoying and kind of keep breaking while Z's purged. Um, there is going to be a tempo break to drop Middle East for even at some point. As long as it's not being jammed with a 3-up. I'd probably walk away from it, though. I probably would give up the three VP with this board. Yeah, I would. I would probably give up the three VP as well because now you're. In, I don't. Although he does have decal, but like, I'm trying to see how Shaq gets domination in Asia, and it doesn't feel completely impossible. Although, that's just because I see Zimit's hand here. Like, do you give up the China card the China here? Card. Do you, do you give it up to, to keep your domination? I think you would give up the China card to block Asia Dom 100%. Um, but Z gets Middle East off for free, so that's pretty yep. awesome. Yep. So after Asia scores and mill up, Z will be up 6 going to the mid-war. Although, Angola at 4 and South Africa at 4 suddenly puts... Africa yeah. be looking really blue turn two to pretty looks like it'll be a bit of a stalemate. And that's two VP and we're off to space, gets it right back. So actually interesting, do you want to double space here and have to hold decal without being able to space it for the whole mid war? I might eat socialist governments here after Marshall. I think you do eat socialist yeah, governments. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you on that, but still trying to wrap my head around what you, yeah. Where do you put your last stops here? Definitely fill Panama, um, right? Fill Panama or fill Mexico. I think you did have those. the war. Which, that's well, I would probably yeah. have played that the moment Zimovit filled up Israel. Not for, a one, not for a one in six. I think the two ops are more valuable than a one in six. So Z uh, ops to space and yeah. deal with D call in the mid war. Yep. Yeah. I guess holding the China card, you know that worst case scenario, you can probably hold two. But you can always get into like weird hands. Oh, Ooh, and now he plays China. the China card. You get into some weird hands with like a decal, Lib Theo, Lone Gunman, or something, and you're giving up decal with Nigeria open. I think if Nigeria, if you had influence or Shaq had influence in it, I'd be more, decal would be more palatable to me, is all. Not the biggest, and I think I I think I would eat the DAR. Also, headline peak is great going into turn four as the Absolutely. USA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A like, rare, a rare treat, a rare luxury. Being able to counter any, like knowing the headline and trap being able to counter defector still in the deck. Defector still in the deck makes. All the red headlines kind of risky, right? Because if it's you never know what's gonna get defected. So do you give up oh that's interesting. And Z just ignores yeah, it and playing goes straight so, to the so fast, yeah. Straight to the un unscored regions. Alright, seven up. But Gets okay. voice, but voice doesn't feel 
There's no obvious way to play voice here. No. But... I guess you wait for the coup and then see where you cancel them out. There's... I'm, yeah, I, I'm really not seeing what you want to hit on this board with voice. Um, yeah. I think you just wait for uh, for the coup, which I think is going to probably go into Mexico or Panama, right? And then you can clear them out from there. I think it, it goes into Zaire, right? Because all you have to do is clear him. You don't have to get influence in to get the country. Mexico, oh. oh. Now you have a VOA turn move for turn yeah. one, for AR1. Uh, I guess squads, maybe? You don't want to do VOA or brush. In the yeah, or you, just get, or, or you just get rid of Africa here. Yeah. Um, although I, you might want to creep towards Nigeria because that's your only way to get mill ops. Maybe with U2 or one small step there, and then you could place in. Yeah. I don't... Yeah, like, what else is he going to do, like, other than fight for an Africa Dom here? And he has ops to do it. Um, does he have the ops? I might actually disagree with that statement, assuming that Che's going to space. Give up Korean. Maybe, maybe he does. It really much will depend on the strength of Shackleton's hand. Yeah, uh, I could see and the, and the junta here as well. But I guess you have a decision here. Like, do you fight for Central, or do you fight for Africa? So you could just drop Africa here. Nope, he went with uh, your idea. Country count in Africa is where I could see the problem, right? Because you go Cameroon, Saharan, he coos one. You take Nigeria, he coos the other, and suddenly not getting domination no matter what, right? Like, Yeah, I guess it also depends if you want to brush or Thailand or something in the New World. I, th I think you once you see Junta, you're, you brush whatever Junta falls into. You VOA them out. I wonder if Junta might be like Venezuela, coup Nicaragua, and then coup in Africa, though. Yeah, or the Uruguay version. Yeah, the, or you, you place a, into Uruguay, coup Brazil, and central, Argentina. and then fill Argentina and Brazil. Then you would brush Brazil instantly. Yeah, exactly. Oof. Going with my version. Yeah. That went very well for Zoom of it. Not that great because you want to brush your VOA right now, but you also want to not let Zayer be flipped. Actually, so uh, I like to Thailand because it probably forces a response not to flip Zayer. You have China face up. Yeah, I think Zoom of it's just focused on Africa right now, but. But right now, if I was Shaq and I had a four, I'm just playing Zaire. Yeah. Uh, he's playing as if he has South America, though. Oh, I want to see what Zima was thinking. What, what? <laughs> <laughs> he definitely took that up to say something to us, and then he didn't. Yeah. Um, do you brush Angola? Maybe? Oh, I wonder if he did that so that he could brush Angola. If you do it, you do it with Che. Oh, Che is free now, too. Almost. Well, the question is if you actually want to... Ooh. Yeah, big roll. Uh, if you want... If you want to... 
if you want to space and get to discard as soon as possible when you're sitting with decal. But that was my thought as well. But um, I guess it's actually you could still just space you two instead. You're not spacing you two. Yeah. Okay, big counter coup. I mean, what would you rather trade? Would you trade one VP or switching Costa Rica to like one red influence? Because that was the same difference here. I mean, I think you you use you two for ops on this board. This is what it, in my mind. I think if you're spacing, you had Nicaragua, yeah. you. Space Che not having it, I understand playing it. So, okay, misses the war. I think at some point here, is he's going to capitulate Africa. Yeah, I was almost wondering if that was the point to do it. Now you're running out of. Uh... Running out of action rounds here. Yeah, that was. Now, now that you was... have to drop it. No. Wow. Less than loose with the China card this game. That very much so. One. Yeah. It's the fourth time we've seen it move from hand to hand. I mean, now you're even like, are you, do you brush for Angola here? No. Oh, you you take that you take the Africa five. I think you're waiting for a brush for Argentina. Yeah, I guess that's only two VPs. Two VP swing on the scoring. Europe, all Europe feels like that's Europe. DA, hmm. right. I like I like Venezuela more than brushing there. I think you could still brush Argentina as your headline if you wanted. Absolutely, yeah. If you successfully brush Argentina in the headline here, you're very close to winning with Kitchen and the scoring. Yeah. Definitely. Three ones though, and brush is an event in Quag to space, which playable ops, um, not that many. Total of eight playable ops here. Yeah, but yeah. I almost think you don't want to headline brush because I feel like cooing Argentina would probably be the move. I think you want to like let the coup go off in Africa. Yeah. And then brush on your next AR, on your first AR. But also a kitchen debates headline just feels weak. Um I think it would feel weak if it wasn't blue 11 right now. When it's blue 11 and that scoring's left. To me, it's almost like you're showing, like, you feel threatened then as Shaq. Like, oh, this might be over very soon. He might try, he might be able to push 20 with this hand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it just depends on the on the scoring. But if you, if you get Brazil and then you brush for Argentina, it might it might just be over. Yeah, that could be five for South America. Rush is six. Kitchen to eight. You're sitting at nineteen with a space shot. Yeah. Yep. If you could pull off the South America dawn, there's a couple paths to twenty there. Granted. You have to pull off the fifty-fifty roll. Yeah, I mean, you could so, even you, you're you could be at nineteen without South America domination as well, if everything goes your way here. 
and then you still have like the mm-hmm. scorings that are left would be like uh, right, Southeast South Asia is probably going to be a wash, but you have Alliance for Progress, you have, you know. I mean, three from yeah. Alliance for Progress here is actually quite a bit. Yeah. I did three for OPEC as well. Um, so it really does depend. Ooh, salt. Salt's going to mix stuff up a little bit here. Now I brush Argentina because the coup with salt is not. Oh, he's just going to drop it. Doesn't want to mess around. Yeah, I think he feels far enough ahead that he doesn't need to push for the points. Europe's also coming at some point. Five year plan's gone. Like, Europe is a solid five points, no matter yeah. what. Like, if you just get kitchen debates off, get your space off. That's five right there. You're sitting at 16. Yeah. Z is a patient, patient man here. Um, yeah, I mean, so I would. I we spent five minutes just talking about ways to win on this turn, and he's yeah. saying, "I don't need to win on this turn. I can win turn. before the late war." Like, yeah, I'll wait for Europe to come out, grab my grab those VP, and go from there. Yeah. This hand is weak, though, so I do get it. Yeah, yeah. What is he grabbing with salt, though? Um, there's Junta, there is Purge, I believe. Dude, there isn't Purge. Um, uh, no, he got, he got Purged, uh, turn three, didn't he? Was it turn three? Yeah. yeah so Purge is there, Philip Theo, Opec. He stalls it in there, but not. D salt doesn't seem like it's what you want to pick up here. No. Um, I'd say probably Junta for T6 to try and make some headway, more headway in the Americas. You grab Junta, that's guarantees a Panama flip, right? Or possibly in Mexico if you can get Guadalajara. Yeah, I'm still looking at it from. It's so easy to just look at it from Zimovitz board or side here, but like if you're Shaq, what what are you even hoping for here? Like, what's your path to victory here? Um, Panama and take Cuba. Yeah, but Europe is scoring before that happens. Back, keep you yeah. alive. Maybe he's gonna yeah. we'll bury you for PvP. What I'm curious about is, have we seen UN on turn three, or was it turn two? Um, he played it on turn two, so it's in the draw pile somewhere. He imagine this: five-year plans. It's a five-year plan to dump Europe because he UNs a card. I think if that was his plan, he would have already done it. But at the same time, if he doesn't have Europe. Five-year plan to hold it through if your hand's not a problem right now. It's also an interesting idea. Yeah. I like it more if you have UN and Europe in hand. I think solving for five-year plan here is kind of... I think. That makes sense, yeah. He took time to choose salt, and then he picked salt, and now he's taking time with whatever his play is. Yeah. yeah. You called it. You called it. Well done, sir. Oh, that is tank. I like it. I like it. And he's holding ABM. Going from Middle East. I'd say that probably indicates his Muslim Rev and Sadat, so he wants to get next to it and get yeah. on term potential. Sorry about the water, I'm going to get a quick espresso. Yeah, perhaps OPEC, he's trying to get as many points as he can from that. Uh, this would be quite the comeback. See, this, this is what I love about Twilight Struggle sometimes, is that you think 
think about, you see salt and the first thing you think is, oh yeah, like something like Junta makes a ton of sense, right? Yeah. And then you think about with these players, is there anything creative on the board you can do? Yeah. The right so Zima could Vietnam there. Um, trying to make, oh, rain sails. So he doesn't have UN. Maybe he does. Oh, this is complicated now. Yeah, something uh, something Zinvit has never seen before. He he did that so that he would cut his own hand size to drop Europe. Yeah, but you can't force the U.S. to cut the hand size. That's right? True. He could just return it's colonials, and then he's it's messed up. So. He Which... must hold UN as well, right? No, I think then you space grain and just give up CRG. I think Z's not realizing the card count. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think Z's, yeah. Z's not thinking about five-year plan on Europe and the fact that salt means. No, I mean he must see the, he must see the five-year plan on Europe. Like, I, well, otherwise, why would you? I think if I think if Z saw it, he might not be. Um, he might have returned it. Yeah. It it, it it's but just. But then such he a just bases play. it. Yeah. Yeah. That that was that was a very interesting play. Um, I think he's, is he going to cool out here? Yeah. He's trying to get um, Thailand to be unprotected for his brush war, but failing at it. He failed the Vietnam coup and the Lao coup. Yeah. It was a very interesting turn. So, honestly, when DEF CON goes up to five, weird things happen. Yeah, yeah. But then on top of that, you know, self graining, um, picking up five year plan. But he still needs to... Hold on. So Shaq has... Yeah, so now he's fine to play 5 year plan on turn... Or action round 7. Shaq what? Shaq is fine to play 5 year plan on turn... On eight, 7. Yeah. And action round five. 7, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The if other thing is... Europe. Maybe Z's thinking he picked up he picked up 5 year plan in hopes of being able to drop Europe T6 or T7. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, knowing that he needs it at some point. Right, and maybe that's why Shaq decided to do that, because he was like, I know either way I'm getting... I'm holding five-year plan, I have to either space grain, play CRG, or I could just play grain and cut something in space CRG. Yeah. Like that kind of logic. Did Zimovit give up two VPs there? Yeah, he did. Well, wow. For a one-up coup. Zero op coup actually. Yeah. Under assault. Takes Vietnam. Yeah. Sure, the space VP fails. I guess that means he wants to event Nixon and take the yeah. China card back, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're brush warring something. So, what are you brush warring here? Oh, yeah, Shaq's hand was not great. No. This one realigns. Fickle, fickle beast. Yeah. What if you put two into Chile there instead, which makes... I guess you got realigned it either way. But... No, not playing Brush War, just taking it. Makes sense? I like it. I like you it. Have your the guarantee. I was thinking you yeah. put two... You put your two OAS into Chile, which makes... Argentina unprotected instead, but I guess this is the same same result. Now you get rid of decal, which is nice. And it picks up four VPs. There yeah, we go. I should have returned Colonial. Yeah. Yeah. Just Yeah, yeah. just had that moment.
Ja. Um, I think that's the kind of thing, if you're playing a 60 or 90 minute timer, you see that. 45 minutes, you're like kind of playing automatic. Yeah, they're discussing what we were discussing. I told you I don't think you're. I, I, I told you I didn't think Z saw it at the time. Yeah. Because he would have returned it. Yeah. At the same time, though, this is. Jack has gone through a lot of pain this turn. Yeah. To, like, to dump Europe. Yeah. Right? Like, this hand has been painful. OAS, Kennedy, would have had to give up CRG. Uh, and He's also, Zemut's rolling has been terrible, missing the the coups in Southeast Asia, which is unscored, yeah. by the way. Um, it could have been that he had Lao and Vietnam at this yeah. point, and then could, could just brush for Thailand, which would be that that might be game. Yeah, but at the same time, like a zero op coup, even on a one stab, is not great as we've seen this yeah. turn. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but it's also, I guess, kind of the best you can do with those one, all those one ops he had. Oh, hundred percent. I hundred yeah. percent agree with that. Yeah, giving up Brezhnev early. You want to realign Argentina, but I feel like you're not going to. Um, maybe you use five year plan to flip Zaire, or. Take Japan, Libya. I don't know. I don't think Shaq has Europe. I think Shaq has Europe. You don't give up Kennedy a turn early unless you're going to event five year plan here. You do Kennedy on the last day, are 100%. But then he, but it, yeah, okay, he does have it. But 100%. it still doesn't. Makes sense then. If he had returned colonials, he would have been stuck with. Yeah, the, but I guess the whole play would the whole play wouldn't have worked. Yeah. Yeah, but I guess his logic was getting giving up grain is just it's so juicy that Z would do it. Yeah. I like doing that a lot more if you have UN in hand over grain to cut your hand size. Yeah, exactly. We we're talking about, but. I think most people, their initial reaction would to be use whatever card green pulls. Yeah. Missile seems really reasonable with flower power and Muslim rev out in the deck. Like, missile seems really reasonable here. Duck's gone. You don't have DEFCON concerns. And besides that, you have a... You're looking at Gunman, but besides that... It's not that painful, and you have Headline Peak, so you could also just opt to dump the Gunman here if you really wanted to, but... Yeah. After that space, Shaq, Shaq is going to have to play around being that close to... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Got a whole taste of uh, what he's going through right now. I mean, it make it, at five, if he gets to score Europe there, that's the game. So he does prolong his slow death. Yeah. For sure. Um you and I guess either way, like if 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 uh, Zimovit had returned colonials, uh, then on action round six, you just take the fifty fifty chance anyway. Like you're that far behind that you're going to do that. Hundred um, percent. Do you pause? No, I I think because you have Nixon that you can play. You don't give up gunmen here. You wait another turn because 
because I guess cultural is still in the deck also though, so maybe you should have just given up gunmen. On the con. No flower power, no Muslim. Interesting. Ooh. Probably gonna lose Panama and Shaq gets Angola. Oh no, he doesn't. He's gonna have to pick, right? It depends if he has another three ops. Missile. But... No, missile. Oh, missile, missile enemy, missile. He's That's only right. got a two. Shaq, also um, worth mentioning, is down to about 15 minutes, 16 to be precise. Yeah. I have a hard time seeing this game taking that much longer, but maybe. I guess it depends also if he's holding OPEC right now or not. Uh, four OPEC definitely helps. Yep. Yeah, so we will make it to the late war. Unless something very drastic happens, but. Holding gunmen, there's always room for weird things to happen. That's very true. Although we haven't seen UN. Might grab it. He's only two, two shots away from the discard spot as well. Discard, yeah. If you get a shot at the double space here, do you even consider spacing CMC? Oh, wow, a six when you need it. Yeah, wow. Ooh! Protects you from being controlled. Um. It doesn't feel great, but it's also like not so much to do on the board. Well, he doesn't it's get a choice. Moot. Yeah, it's moot. He takes the China, but you can use puppets here to maybe set up realigns on Cuba. Yeah, I like. I, I think that's a very reasonable AR seven move. It's a VP. Is anyone going to take India or Japan at some point? <laughs> Too, too much, uh, too much influence. I think it's gonna. No matter what happens, like Asia won't be undominated. It'll be some points for Shaq, but no more than that. That's a pretty weak hand for Shaq. Yeah, hard to fight for it. Now they're fighting with two ops <laughs> in Japan. <laughs> What, as you would say, what else? I mean, you could... It's the most valuable. Yeah. The most valuable thing on the board. Um, what else? There's very little both of them could do with only two ops and not the events that could actually change things. I think you leave Japan and you event Puppet to set up Cuba, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That one makes sense, too. A lot of sense. So he gets OPEC. Which is kind of nice, actually. I'd rather have yeah. it yourself than give it to Shaq, and it's your perfect space card to be able to discard loan. But... You can bear trap to get. Yeah, I think bear trap. All the bad two ops are gone. So Shaq is not holding those. So for Shaq to really have a chance here, he needs a coup in Zaire and to mess up Angola to get the real lines, or I guess after PC comes out. Yeah, but when Z bear traps here, he doesn't get that coup. Yeah. Quag go to space, or is it going to be a bear trap versus Quag headline? Quag went to space. Yeah. 
I think it was turn five. That one really bad hand seemed it had. Yes, yes. With the ones. Um, Jack has to flip Argentina somehow. And then maybe if all the scorings come out at the right time, while you're dominating the regions or they're even, you can do something. But Yeah, and Middle East has to come before Asia here, so you have a chance at an Asia domination as well. It's just a lot of ifs need to... 14 VPs, is, it, it's daunting. Yeah. Especially when you, at the moment, only have one domination on the board. Um, Ku Angola here. Uh, oh, no, he just gunman. didn't give up gunmen. Decides, even with the child, wow. oh, because Shaq, Shaq has cultural. So, he's saying... Even right, with so, if you, learned, so if you fail the OPEC here... Yeah, you need to play how yeah. I learned and all that. That's the easier way to do it. Big roll. I kind of like Zaire more. I feel like Zaire had more up, like... Yeah, and it, then you, you need realign, to make this realign angle. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're so far behind, you need the high variance plays. Like, low variance, not going to cut it. Especially P P Portuguese is a known card, so I think that right, right. You know that's coming. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Right. They trade Japan for Cuba, I guess. You won't walk into Cuba. He's not. I cannot see Z wanting to walk into Cuba right now. Activate Ortega. Oh right, right, right. That was dumb of me to even say. With uh, the, even now he has discard that he gives up China. Then that's... That was shot at control, wasn't it? Yeah, that that would have put control right up on the table. No, domination, like if Middle East comes out first, is a real opportunity. Yeah, you I mean, Z's, Z's just going to place a dot here, and then yeah. all of a sudden he has Middle East control, or um, uh, domination, but... Do you do a variance? So, like, this is where it's, like... I would probably consider realigning Argentina even. I think you're yeah. down fourteen. You need yeah. a yeah. you need a big move. What's the worst case scenario? It goes poorly for you. Is it really gonna change much? No, because you're probably gonna lose Chile here on real lines anyway. Yeah. Unless you create enough threats to avoid chili realigns and wait for Thatcher. I would, honestly, a coup to Haiti or Nicaragua to force the Cuba play is not that bad. Right? Like, say, yeah. either take it or give it back. Arms race also makes sense, but now... Shaq is at a position where, like, it's not one region he has to worry about. Now it's four regions he has to worry about. But I think you're right about the Argentina realign, but it's such a hard thing to press that button. Like, like it makes sense in your head, but it's also like, oh, there's got to be something better on here. Maybe you could annoy him with Cuba. Yeah. Just... Yeah, that, that makes sense. Or something like this, exactly. Um, Where's Muslim Rev? Am I crazy? Uh, it should be in Shaq's hand right now. Right? I'm not crazy. No, you're not crazy. Okay. I think that's why it's holding on to Flower Power as well. To be able to just, if... If Muslim Rev happens. I think he was waiting for Sadat to be played first. Yeah.
Shaq's also one Burma away from uh, having Asia Dom. Oh, he doesn't have the, the battlegrounds with Japan taken. Oh, Shaq. Yeah, yeah, Shaq is uh, one. one two, Shaq three. is, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. He just needs yeah. to take Burma or Afghanistan, uh, but Burma, I think, well, he needs a little more sense. He needs two now. He has to get up to eight because a battleground doesn't exist for shuttle, so it's seven. Oh, right, right, right. right. I'm not I not crazy right now about using Muslim Rev without having at least like one in either Egypt or Afghanistan or Iran. Wow, yeah. what? You called it. Yeah, he's doing taking that Asia Dom to try to survive a little longer, I think. Yeah. No complaints about okay, this hand. Things that Truman with the Pope and EU and Warsaw yeah. of the deck. Yeah. There sounds like there's something there. Yeah, but you don't even need to. Like, I you feel like you don't even need. To. Yeah. Oh, is that that's so juicy though? Well, I would I would probably headline oh. EU here just to like threaten it, but then you don't even have to like. I think I had oh gets purged. Um, not the end of the world to be honest. No. It's a lot of events you want to play here. I like the Pope. The Pope gets it down to 1-1. One, one. You could put some ops in. You could be annoying with EU and Truman. Like, Pope feels good. I ordered tear down to control the coup. And you say, fuck it, I don't want him to coup Zaire to hold Africa dumb. You could probably attack Poland mid-turn. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe not. It's nice, though, if he's holding Solidarity to get that yeah, event th done as soon thing. as possible. Maybe. I mean, you could, yeah, being purged here is like, okay, I'll just play all of my Europe events, and uh, you're just going to have to repair that. Like, I'm going to be super annoying here. Yeah. APM. Do you nice. uh, that feels very conservative okay. to me. I didn't even see that. I think that feels pretty good actually. Do you need to protect Pakistan there? Um do you need to? Probably not because India is also not overprotected and you're purged, so if he uses China he'll get it either way. Yeah. Um, but to take Panama there, I think is pretty good, and he gets four ops out of ABM instead of just three. So, and he gets the last coup. Well, I guess someone will get the last coup, but all in all, I I I think that was a pretty solid play. I think the question becomes: Is you take Panama, where do you put the last op? And Pakistan makes sense. I feel like that was the high variance play that <laughs> you were talking about yeah. before. Shaq's got some sort of scoring right now that's a problem for him. I think if he had the scoring, he would have at least end cooed on the same one. I, I think that says he was like looking to get a six or just make as much damage as he could for the high variance. I yeah. think if you have a scoring, you're gonna play say I need this country no matter what. Yeah. So Africa flips finally. Not to domination, but Yeah. It's a flip. Um Asia's worth what, six or seven right now? Yes, shuttle's supposed to get rid of Japan, so it's only worth five. But isn't that a bug where it doesn't actually do that? 
I wonder with the new. Oh, maybe update, that was the one thing they fixed. They fucked up so many things, <laughs> but maybe they fixed that. I don't know. We're cautiously optimistic over here in the recording booth. I really hope that Asia gets scored so we will find out if they fix the one <laughs> gameplay bug that was in the game two weeks ago. Or just click on the Asia thing so we know. Come on. But I think visually it was always wrong as well. Right, so I'm wondering if visually it's correct now if they clicked Asia if we would see five or six. Oh, you're not going to do that? No. Yeah, maybe just get him out of... Oh, go for Poland. Oh, Poland. For the... Okay, that makes sense. Maybe go for the 6-1. It's like, that's greedy. That would be greedy, <laughs> greedy, greedy. I think you should... Especially with Truman in hand, it's like, quite yeah. even. Yeah. I think you do Pope first there, though, no? Oh, yeah. I see what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, he's so now you do Pope... Make him spend a bunch of ops to fix it, and then, and then you at the EU. end. And, and then, then he's going to have to spend a four. Exactly, you, you get, get to Truman. Truman. It almost feels unfair uh, <laughs> that he gets purged with that hand because it's like it's not that bad. In the end, it's like just not. It's not that bad. Um, You sniff out the EU? Overprotecting there? Sniffed out something. Yeah. <laughs> this is just relentless. <laughs> oh man, Shaq's probably like, well, shit, I, maybe I needed those purge ops. Yeah, but what was, what would have been his headline instead? Pershing? Ah, Pershing's not great. <laughs> Or Junta, of course, yeah. Junta could have yeah. been the headline, but... Yeah, he just barely saves it. Because he put the one extra. Good on... Good on uh, yeah, and Zimit on just show... Sniffing that out. Well, good on Zimit for just showing the Truman as well, like... Yeah. Well done, sir. <laughs> oh, we'll never find out about Japan now. Heartbroken. Gets his mill up by Quag. Okay, put us out of our misery. I think. Yeah, what's going to be the scoring here? Nope. Nope. Not enough points in this hand. I guess space could be four. Uh, Reagan's one. Close, but not quite there. Yeah. I guess Olympic Games could be two. Oh, because you get to see the headline. headline. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it has to be good cards, though. But that's... Uh, I like that. <laughs> I like the idea of headlining Olympic Games there. I think Regards is arguably better. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. Do you... Again, it's like what we were talking about in South America before. Yeah. How do I win on this turn? Well, Zimit doesn't have to win on this turn. He's been winning for five turns now. Oh, Z's been winning since, like, turn two, I'd say. I feel like there was a moment in when after Shaq flipped Africa the first time, okay. it felt Very like well. it was maybe possible, but then... Z climbed onto it. Uh, I mean, this has felt like it should be over so sooner or later for a couple turns, though. Yeah. Oh, That's you're with, in range yeah. with the space shot. Yeah. Space. How many failed realigns in Chile is that? Five? Four? 
three because it was just Truman and then the oh, other it's just Truman. Was... Yeah, yeah. It's just been set up for it for a while. Yeah. Oh, there's another point. Oh, and you know if you're bleeding. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> One more turn. <laughs> Bulls check. He's like, that was four VP if I hit the space, right? Yeah. Oh, you and in kitchen is disgusting. Yeah. I mean, I th there's no. No, no, I don't. I just don't see it anymore. There's. Oh, he got one finally. Yeah. If rolls. I mean, I, yeah. I also, kudos to Shaq for holding all this long. I don't want to say it's over, but it sure feels like it's over. I, I think the fact that Shaq has most likely, or there's a high probability, he's draw, drawn this out to final scoring is impressive. Yeah. Well, all it takes is one scoring in turn 10 that's not Asia, yeah. but... He's he's dragged this out to at least turn 10 so that people here would have a game to watch. Even that if is it was very a kind slightly one-sided game. <laughs> I think we got a turn to talk about, though, that um, salting for five-year plan thing. Yeah, right? Like, we, we saw some fun, creative moves this game, which is always a good time. Oh, finally gets a decent roll on Chile. And knocks out Cuba. Just for the hell of it. Oh, that hand. So it was Defectors, Thatcher, Camp, that's three, and Kitchen would have been five if not for UN. AP yeah. with just. An um, evil empire, too. Oh, geez, six. Yeah. That's a lot of VP. Yeah. Just cards. That's a Asia Dom. All right, there we go. Okay, that, there we go. That's. <laughs> and look at the rest of this hand. It's that is like a turn ten hand. That is yeah, that is. You could even like, oh, do I want to win by Europe control here? Just like Chernobyl, you have Star Wars. Oh my god! Yeah. Like, how do you want to win this? <laughs> Still a while. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hilarious. I have to assume Star Wars could pick up a VP, maybe, in the draw pile. Um, um, no, camp, camp, kitchen? Star Wars, that feels wrong. Star Wars and kitchen would be, for the win, would be quite the baller play. <laughs> He can't headline Europe here because he could just poke West Germany. So you're yeah. gonna headline Grain or Brush or Solidarity. Yeah. Uh, but it's almost like, yeah, I don't see. Like any any headline that's not names. Or Europe could work in your favor here. It's like yeah, there's so many. There's a ton of options. Here. <laughs> um, I mean, solidarity because it breaks Poland. If he yeah, oh yeah, that's the point Europe you need. Six. That's yeah, the that, point that's... you need. So I think that's my vote. I think solidarity is my vote. Um, 
Unless Shaq sniff that out and puts all his Glasnost influence into Poland. Also, see, this isn't this isn't that difficult of a decision. Like, I think Simovic is trying to find the absolute optimal play here when it really doesn't matter. Yeah. But I think he's yes. that kind of guy who's just like, even, you know, I'm ahead 16. I am going to win either like AR 3 or 4. Yeah. There's but no question. is there any way for me to win on AR2 instead? You know? Yeah. yeah. I honestly think you're right on that one. I think that's exactly what's going on in Z's mind. He does not want to play sub optimally for even a second. But it just seems right, like what's it's it going to be. I think if you play solidarity here, you're tipping off that you have your open hand. So he's. I don't, I don't think it tips at all. I think solidarity is a good headline no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. Like solidarity is a very reasonable headline no matter what. So. I think Star Wars for kitchen tips off, you have a 5 VP scoring in hand. Not that it matters, because you couldn't, he, there's nothing to counter you anyway, even, because, especially with Chernobyl. And he goes with the classic grain sales instead. Yeah, nothing fancy. You put four ops. Cuba, one Panama. Um, Jam, Argentina. It's not as good when Z can follow it up with ops of himself. Yeah. Egypt, maybe? Oh. I don't know. I don't know. The here, I guess, five year plan or ultra doesn't really matter. Oh, wow. Rolls the six. Rolls the six. But realistically, the only thing that drags this out to final scoring is Asia and Shaq's hand. Yeah, exactly. But then it's still. And no Africa and no South. Oh, Central's uh, might be a domination for Shaq as well. Just a bit of a way. He can fight it. He can fight it. All right, play Solidarity or score it, Z. Enough of this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. I mean, just if you just score it here. Yeah. It's almost like he spent more time on this than he did on turn nine. Just play solidarity. <laughs> you know, you could be real cruel and just uh, Star Wars for EEU here as well. Yeah, that, would, that would actually be pretty rude as well. Yeah. Because then he also needs a 4 to fix. There we go. That's... that's and that's game. game. 